right off the LPGA Boulevard to our favorite stop. First things first, gotta get some gas for the Bronco. Hey guys, happy Sunday, welcome to the channel. So, we are checking out Bucky's in Daytona, Florida. Right now we're getting gas for the Bronco, but as soon as I get done with that and get it pumped up, we're gonna go inside and check out everything they got here. Food, merch, and all stuff. So, let's have a good time. And first things first, we're gonna look at the uh, Bucky's merch. So you got a few of those cheat shirts here. You got the um, <laughs> tour shirt from the other, the new updated tour shirt, and a few other stuff. Oh, and here is a shirt I am looking for. They do got an N2, it's N3 yet. And over here, you can have more of the infant stuff. Pretty cool. And over here, you got some more like jackets, rain jackets over here, some pajama wear. Pretty cool little stuff over here too. You can have more of the, it feels like funky spirit jerseys. Pretty cool. And looks like over here, you're gonna have your, ooh, look at this. The space one we saw in the other, the other Bucky's the other night, they, in St. Augustine. You got your Bucky pullovers. Winter's fixed to be over with, so I probably won't get this today, but I'm definitely gonna pick up the space one today. Cause I was something I haven't seen before and it may not be here when I come back in May. So, we'll have to go get that. And here you got the world's famous jerky mobile. Pretty cool. Like so over here is gonna be your general like Bucky's merchandise. Over there will be our general stuff. And here is the world's famous jerky. And it just keeps going on that way. Should we find something neat? Shop whiskey on the board is here. It's the reason why I came. Now I'm happy. And over here you can draw your little drinks and sodas and all that and all the foods and all this. Look like a little, you got your store and everything else. And I decided, because I was getting so much stuff, to go ahead and get a basket full of some stuff. You got your candles and all your nice floor mats and a lot of your, all your nice little home goods if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can spend a lot of a lot of money here. Here is your classic uh, beef jerky. I'm gonna go pick one up from Madison. I did promise her I would bring her back home one. If not, I'm probably gonna get in trouble. And here is some more Mardi Gras merch. So if you're going to Universal Studios, go visit Mardi Gras. And on the way to Daytona, make sure you stop over here and get some um, t-shirts and beads. Great place to get it. Daytona is crazy. That has to be the most busiest Bucky's ever. I've been to a good few of them, which I've been to this one too, but on a Sunday, woo! I probably would just come here at nighttime. All right, guys, we are back in the car. So from y'all saw the videos, it was pretty crazy in there. I wanted to get more in there, but I was trying not to get too much people in there just for their privacy and all that kind of stuff, of course. Um, but I did get to show y'all the little pinpoints and the more of the highlights of Bucky's. But I'm gonna show y'all what all I got. I didn't end up getting the shirt, um, the fresh brisket on the board, and on the back of it, it's got, I wonder if brisket is still thinking about you. That's the first one I got. I got Madison, a Bucky's rain jacket. And I cannot find her Columbia rain jacket. So you know what, I told her it's been raining a lot at home. So what better time to have one is a Bucky's jacket. Next, I got Olivia, a little Bucky's outfit tutu kind of thing. I'm not sure she's gonna fit into you. She's still kind of, you know, if y'all know, she's a premature baby. She's still kind of small, so not sure if she can really fit into it yet, but um, she'll grow into it. And my favorite so far, I did get the Bucky space shirt. Pretty cool um, on the back of it. I don't know. I, I, just, I don't know. It's kind of, it just sticks out there. Like I said, a fact is, uh, Bucky was the first beaver to make it to the moon. And that is our proof. Um, I got my wife this shirt right here. Here's the back of it. And on the front of it, you got this little Bucky symbol. So I hope she likes that. And for myself, I also got um, a wallet with a little pop socket on there. I've never really used pop sockets for, but if I'm not using my mount, um, this actually a pop socket might be a good way when I'm vlogging around. So that I'm gonna test it out and see. Um, got a little Bucky magnet for my fridge. And another thing is I got a Bucky's bib. So that's out of that bag. And also got some lunch, cause I am hungry. Got some chips. 
I'm gonna put that right down here in the Bronco. I got a double X big fucking brisket sandwich double XL. So we're gonna open that as well too. And last but not least, I picked up Madison some beef jerky. Who would have thought a three-year-old kid would like beef jerky? Craziest thing. All right, guys, we're also gonna do a food review as well too. So let's, gonna, let's open this thing up and take a look at it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I cannot wait to try it. So, and further ado, one more thing I did get is a cherry lime extra large soda for the road. And of course the chips. Let's take a look at it. It looks pretty good, guys. It looks pretty good. All right, guys, so let's take our first dip into it. But I'm gonna try this chip first. Pretty good. That is a really good chip. Now, the main attraction is this barbecue sandwich. I should have bought me some napkins, but I'm pretty sure I got something in here. Like diaper wipes. Diaper wipes is always a good thing to have. All right, guys, let's take a dive into the sandwich. That is a good sandwich. Woo, that is good. The beaver nose Bucky's knows how to make a fine, darn good sandwich. Ooh, and it couldn't get more country than saying something like that, couldn't it? Got a little piece of another barbecue. I'll tell you a little on the camera, take a look at it. And also, I'll show y'all another little more deeper into it. Y'all take a little look at it. It's just a good sandwich. I've had some barbecue but nothing compares to having a barbecue or brisket than Bucky's. But I'm also, um, they got other stuff here and I've, I've tried it before, but I just, I don't know. The brisket is always, it just calls my name. It's just Bronco dad. Woo. <laughs> um, but I just, I love it guys. I love coming to Bucky's. Well guys, I'll have to say one thing. I really should not be allowed at Bucky's by myself. Sometimes I just have no self-control. I spent 158 freaking dollars on everything, but it was worth it. I got stuff for the family and I had a little getaway trip. So I just wanted to do something for them. Um, they don't deserve it. Sometimes, 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 but I don't know. I had to treat myself to this brisket sandwich. So the brisket sandwich was total of $12.99 for barbecue and the way food is nowadays. I'm, I'd say that's, that's probably worth it. You get a big old sandwich with that, and it'll probably keep me full for the rest of the day. And last but not least, we need to flush down all this stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and try this cherry limeade. Oh, that is good. If you like cherry limeade from Sonic, you'll really like this. It's a whole lot better. It's more you get more of a. It's not so strong, but it's really good. You got a really good taste. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up this vlog here. Um, I just wanted to show you, I really want to show y'all like a do a full tour of the walk inside Bucky's. Didn't go as planned, but I did get to show like my, like I said, the highlights where I wanted to show y'all and get to show y'all what I got and ate. I'd like to start going to Bucky's every quarter, like and maybe like every three months, say, hey, what's going on here? Or shoot, even once a month. That'd be pretty cool. Cause I live an hour and a half from in Warner Robins. So it'd be a pretty cool thing to do. Just check it out, see what's going on, do merch searches there. Um, so if you want me to do something like that, leave it in a comment below. I'd love to do that. Um, definitely this one, um, probably on, on weekends, it's really hard to do content. It doesn't say it's hard to do it, but more than likely uh, there's so many people in there and I just, I know not, not a lot of people want you in their vid in videos. To just, like to just for privacy though. Um, I'll video all day, but just one of the things where when there's so many people in there and they're all, it's all just gathered up. I think that's one thing you know you're gonna expect that at Disney World or Universal. You know, there's always there's always vloggers out there. But I just in here I just I don't know. I'm not I, I don't know if I'm like it's not like maybe comfortable with it, but it's just one of them things where I just I wanna respect people and try to do that. So in other new in other ways, um if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment below what you thought. Um if you want me to go somewhere different, leave that comment below too. Um, if you're new here, welcome to the channel, guys. Um, check out my other videos. We just came back from Mardi Gras at Universal. 
We had a great time. Met some met some friends. Got to meet some different. Got to meet a few different vloggers as well too. So that was really cool uh, on a, on a personal level getting to talk to them and and they were down to earth people too. Um. So, um, in other news, if you um if you, like you saw here. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give it a big note and hit that bell notification. Um, I'm gonna start doing some more vlogs. Um, I really this trip was really good for me. I need I needed this mentally, and just it gave me that ins inspiration to want to come out and vlog more. So until then, guys, I'll see you guys next time, and you have a blessed day.